Good morning. Welcome to St. Nicholas Parish Community. Today we celebrate the second Sunday of Advent. The gathering song is number 41 on Jordan's Bank, number 41. Please stand and welcome those around you. Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, as we always do when we gather together to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we prepare by seeking God's pardon. See on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to welcome your Son, but may our learning of heavenly wisdom win for us admittance to his company, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, a shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall blossom. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and of understanding, a spirit of counsel and of strength, a spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord, and his delight shall be the fear of the Lord. Not by appearance shall he judge, nor by hearsay shall he decide, but he shall judge the poor with justice and decide aright for the lands afflicted. He shall strike the ruthless with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Justice shall the, be the band around his waist, and faithfulness a belt upon his hips. Then the wolf shall be a guest of the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the young lion shall browse together. With a little child to guide them, the cow and the bear shall be neighbors. Together their young shall rest. The lion shall eat hay like the ox. The baby shall play by the cobra's den, and the child lay his hand on the adder's lair. There shall be no harm or ruin on all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the Lord, as waters cover the sea. On that day, the root of Jesse, set up as a signal for all nations, the Gentiles shall seek out, for his dwelling shall be glorious. The word of the Lord. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment and devil, justice the king's son he shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment justice shall flourish in his time and illness of peace for us Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice shall flourish in his time, and of peace forever. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. May his name be blessed forever, as 
as long as the Son, his name shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, whatever was written previously was written for our instruction, that by endurance and by the encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to think in harmony with one another, in keeping with Christ Jesus, that with one accord you may have one voice. Glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome one another, then, as Christ welcomed you, for the glory of God. For I say that Christ became a minister of the circumcised to show God's truthfulness, to confirm the promises to the patriarchs, but so that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy, as it is written, therefore, I will praise you among the Gentiles and sing praises in your name. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. John the Baptist appeared, preaching in the desert of Judea, and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It was of him that the prophet Isaiah had spoken when he said, A voice of one crying out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord make straight his paths. John wore clothing made of camel's hair and had a leather belt around his waist. His food was locusts and wild honey. At that time, Jerusalem, all Judea, and the whole region around the Jordan were going out to him and were being baptized by him in the Jordan River as they acknowledged their sins. When he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to his baptism, he said to them, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the coming wrath? Produce good fruit as evidence of your repentance, and do not presume to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. For I tell you, God can raise up children to Abraham from these stones. 
Even now the axe lies at the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree that does not bear good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. I am baptizing you with water for repentance, but the one who is coming after me is mightier than I. I am not worthy to carry his sandals. He will baptize you with water, with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand. He will clear his threshing floor and gather his wheat into his barn, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Well, it would appear that we got through Thanksgiving all right. No major altercations. I didn't read about any of you in the paper, which is always good, which is always good. And then we, of course, helped the economy on Black Friday. We got out there bright and early, getting the bargains. Mm -hmm, so that's good, too. Then let's see, Saturday, what was Saturday? Oh, Small Business Day, right? When we showed our support for people who make a living by just having small businesses. There's going to be a, a new bakery up the street on the corner, so I hope you'll be looking forward to that. The Chill Grill is going to reopen December 12th, so we'll continue to support small business. Then let's see, Monday, you know, our fingers were rested up. And we went into Cyber Monday, mm-hmm. And then, of course, we won't think about the consequences of what we bought on Cyber Monday until January. And, and then, did I spend that much? Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, we did. We did. Uh-huh. And then I think Tuesday was Giving Tuesday, and people gave more than a, a billion dollars so that people in need could have some assistance. So it looks like things are kind of doing, going pretty well. Um, you probably got the Christmas decorations out, maybe on these beautiful days. You got lights in the trees. Frank worked very hard over the last few weeks getting our property here decorated. I talked to people, they were going down to Helen and Ed's, I think, down in drums to get the tree. The cookies are baked or at least ordered, and we are all ready. Some of us, we can just sit back and relax, huh? We are all prepared. Of course, there just might be one thing that maybe we haven't quite dealt with yet. John the Baptist reminds us of that. Repent. Now, that's a word we might connect with Lent. When we come forward and are signed with ashes, repent and be faithful to the gospel. But sisters and brothers, that word, that call, that challenge, it's a word that is really applicable to any season, but especially in a special way during the days of Advent. We hear that call to turn, turn away from the darkness toward the light, to turn away from selfishness to generosity. On Christmas, we will once again sing the song of the angels, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Sisters and brothers, if we are to know the gift of true peace, if we are to welcome the Prince of Peace, we are called to be people of goodwill. And if we are people of goodwill, then there's no room for holding grudges. We're called to let it go. We're right, of course, and they're wrong. Well, so what? We're called to let go of the grudges that we may have held on to for who knows how many years. We're called to start looking at one another with new eyes, not just us and them, but our being together in the venture of life. No sense in calling people's names. There are people who we might want to call names. Maybe they're people we live with or we work with, or perhaps people who are living far across the sea. But yet when we harbor that 
that anger, that animosity within us that does no one any good whatsoever. It's not going to bring about peace. It's only going to raise our blood pressure, perhaps as we're cleaning out our hearts and our minds and our spirits. When we're tempted to offer a degrading name or an opinion, take a deep breath and say a prayer for them. Say a Hail Mary. Maybe Aunt Stella got on our nerves at Thanksgiving and she's coming back for Christmas. Say a prayer for her. We watch the horror happening across the sea. That guy, that guy who's waging that senseless war, uh, who needs more prayers than that man? Pray for him. Yes, pray for him that somehow his heart might be touched by God's spirit, that he might come to his senses and stop the craziness and the horror. John the Baptist says that if we're going to repent, well, we have to show our repentance by the good fruit that we're going to bear, that we are bearing. What kind of fruit are we bearing in our lives? Are we extending mercy and peacemaking and forgiveness and generosity and compassion? John warns us, he said, you know, the tree, us, we've got to bear good fruit. Because if we don't, the tree gets cut down and gets thrown into the fire. We are called to look at our lives, at our actions. Are they worthy of us as the children of God? We are bearers of the light, the Christ light. We are to bring the light of Jesus the Lord into every corner in which we find ourselves. Do our actions bear witness to our willingness to bring light into the world? John the Baptist, our dear friend, he calls out to us over the, the canyons of time. He calls us to repent to turn our lives around, to yield to God's Spirit, who's calling us to put off the deeds of darkness and to put on the armor of light. Hopefully, sisters and brothers, our days of Advent will help us to hear that call, to hear that challenge of the prophet who is above all other prophets. And in hearing his challenge, repent. Prepare, for the Lord is coming close. The day of the Lord is drawing near. of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. For the church, for her leaders and all her people, may they seek wisdom, understanding, counsel, and strength 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For bold prophets and humble listeners, for those whose lives bear witness to the gospel of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For young people and for children, for caring adults in whose faces they can see the face of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are vulnerable to illness and disease, for all caregivers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community, centered in one Lord, one faith, one baptism, and for those who live humbly and await the Lord's coming, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who continue to suffer the effects of conflict and war, especially those in Ukraine, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As we celebrate the feast of our parish patron, St. Nicholas, may our lives mirror his love, compassion, and generosity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially for Carol Hines, for whom this Mass is offered, and for Sandra Jacobs, Barbara Rao, and John Birkenhead, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear the prayers of your people, O gracious, loving God. They are offered as always through Christ our Lord. Please join in singing number 44, O Come Divine Messiah, number 44.
brothers and sisters. Pray now that your sacrifice of mine will be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings, and since we have no merits to plead our cause, come to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks now to the Lord our God. It is right. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty, eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the plan you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and all is at last revealed, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with all the angels and saints we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of History of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Pope Francis, 
with Joseph, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember, too, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with her beloved husband, Joseph, with the apostles, with St. Nicholas, with St. John the Baptist, with Mother Pauline, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At our Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and be safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, only to say the word and my soul shall be healed.
communion song is number 58, Emmanuel, number 58. Let us pray. We 
replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our sharing in this sacred mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and to hold fast to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. As always, I hope you'll take and heed the bulletin. Uh, Tuesday, the Feast of St. Nicholas, our parish patron. We hope you will come. It doesn't matter if you're a little older. We're all one family. Hope you will come and share in our celebration. We have it on good word that uh, St. Nicholas uh, will be here, weather permitting, okay? But um, so we look forward to that. All the details are in the bulletin. Um, we will celebrate the Feast of the Immaculate Conception on, at the North Campus up the street as well as here. The uh, mass schedule is included in the bulletin. Uh, this afternoon, the Arcadia Chorale will be here. If you've never heard them, what a treat and an honor it is to have them here with us. So we hope you'll come and support that wonderful, beautiful event. You notice in the bulletin, we have a little article about the Bambanelli, the blessing of the baby Jesus. This was a, a custom introduced by St. John Paul II in Rome, and uh, people are now doing it around the world in union with our Holy Father. So you're invited to bring baby Jesus to Mass uh, next weekend, the third Sunday of Advent. And of course, it is so rare, so very rare, that we make a mistake. But, but, these are the wrong dates in the bulletin. We got messed up. So ignore these dates. Next Sunday, the blessing of the infant Jesus, okay? So when you get home and you know who says, no, it's not this weekend, it says the 17th, you say, no, that's wrong. It's this weekend, get the baby, okay? All right. It's really kind of a lovely uh, tradition. And I think kind of like a little way for us to kind of focus, to help our little people too, and big people too, to focus on what we are preparing to celebrate, okay? Uh, oh, we've got lots of socks. There are going to be a lot of warm feet this winter, so thank you for your continued support of that venture as well, okay? I hope you'll read about all the other things too. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God bless you, Father and Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our song of sending forth is number 70, Every Valley, number 70.
people shall see together the glory of the Lord. Stand up on the mountain top, O oh, lift your voice to the world. Sing joyfully, Jerusalem, behold, behold your God. Every valley shall be exalted, and every hill made low, and all God's people shall see together the glory of